I think we are good. Let me check. Let's check. Hello, good people, if you're listening. It's great to see you. Oh, yeah, we're good. And, oh, whoa, whoa, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? Did anyone just see that? Go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Go ahead. And boom. We are rolling beyond average. Date? Yeah, no. What's the date? Yeah, what is the date? April 9th. April 9th. Oh, damn it. Come on. It's the only thing I look forward to. It's literally <laughs> the only thing I look forward to is that fucking boom. God damn it. That's all a boom. And boom, we are rolling, folks. <laughs> Another edition of Beyond Average Podcast, Thursday or Tuesday, April 9th. Excuse me. Uh, what's happening? How are you doing over there? Good, good. With This is, uh, <clears throat> is going to be a little bit of a different show today. I think right. we can call it that, right? A little bit of a... Uh, I don't know, mix up because there's not a lot of KMS going on. Obviously, they've had the week off. Yeah. Uh, from the main show, I know Kirk's in Chicago doing the mini golf. Some good stuff happening out in the world, though. Oh, we're well, talking about the rest of the world. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Plenty of topics. Trust me. We we got a show for you, folks. Don't you <laughs> worry. Um, did you catch last week? I know you were not here. It was our first Christian Thursday without you. Did you catch any of the? Uh, I did. I did. Shout out to, uh, of course, my guy. Who's that? Justin. Oh, oh yeah. What do you mean? What the hell? Obviously. <laughs> um, yeah. What'd you make of his uh, appearance here? Uh, I, of course he killed it. Yeah, he's great. Listen, I was, you know, what? I was actually, I, I thought you were going to lie. Um, oh, who? I thought, or I thought you were going to avoid telling him what you gave him as a grade. But you what? told him right to him. Yeah. I don't know. Dude, I, I don't know if you're going to beat around the bush and it's be like, funny. you know, I gave you a C then, but you know, I thought you were going to like gas it up and be like, well, right. since he was right in front and he's a big guy. He thought I was intimidated. I mean, maybe a little. I, I well, Could you blame me? He's big. He is a big fella. Yeah. Um, I know Red from Maine or one of the guys in the rundown there was like, yeah, he kind of backtracked when Justin was there. No, no, no. Oh, I, I didn't think so. I didn't yeah, think I so at opposite, all. I just told yeah. him he got a C just as yeah. like I did the day before. Yeah, I thought it was opposite. Um, but no, obviously I love having Justin here. He was hysterical. He's claiming that he's bringing uh, pulled pork next time because we were discussing mm. that it was his, that was my master's meal. That was going to be one of my uh, things, which I'm going to ask you about. We'll, we'll talk about some master pork. stuff. Pulled pork is a good one. Is that your favorite like uh, slider sandwich thing? Because that's like a what, guess, what is considered handheld, a slider? Handheld. Is that a burger in there? Then, but a slider is different than a full burger. I guess like that's a, what I mean. Then, what, what, you what, know, what, like a restaurant burger is a two hander. What are the other options a for? A you know what a slider? Like, like White Castle. That's what so a mini burger. It would be a mini slider. burger. It's a slider. Then yeah, pulled pork's easily the best. Better than those like uh, glazed ham and cheese sandwiches. Those disgusting. are disgusting. What? Disgusting. You don't like those? No, filthy. I'm talking like the good ham. Peasants. <laughs> really? Yeah. I didn't. I, I. That's a disgusting. Wow. Okay. Disgusting app to serve people. Wow. Yeah. Disgusting. Yeah, gross. Just filthy. Ham? Give, well, other than pulled pork. What, like, you what can't even give me your bacon? Favorite? You're going to give me ham? You can't even at least respect me enough to give me the good part of the Yeah, bacon. but who does, who does bacon and cheese sandwich? Just give me the bacon. I would you rather eat just bacon than you serve me ham and fucking whatever. So you're not a big, like, handwich guy. You don't like the handheld. Not ham. What, what, other, than, what other than pulled pork would you be into? For a slider? Yeah. I guess just burger, right? I don't know what other sliders there are. Is a potato skin a slider? No, but that's a handheld, right? That's that's uh, we're getting that's too far, there. anyways. Right. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll we'll do this. Uh, we got a couple of programming announcements we got to get to. We're gonna go around the network. Um, I, you know, you had a hot take on Morgan Wallen too that I want to get to because you and Al just you guys what take the bait on these stories. It's like loser. it's so funny how fired up you guys both get. I I knew right away that the one once one of you tweeted, the next one was coming right away. I was like, oh, here here it comes the fucking the dynamic duo. <laughs> um. And then what else do we? I don't even know. We could talk some NCAA. We got a bunch of shit. But I got a bunch of topics. How about some personal updates, real quick? How about some programming updates? And we'll talk about so you know just some things that I want to get off my chest because I'm not gonna lie. Tough weekend. Yeah. Tough, 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 tough weekend. Um, you know, uh, we've I've, I don't I don't want to go too into this. This isn't the Mean Girl podcast. We're not gonna talk about relationships and all that stuff the entire time. But we like to be honest with your audience, right? Aren't we transparent here? Mm -hmm. Is that what we do on this program since we've started? We've we've talked about everything i'm talking pre-kms pre, you know, before the minute we talked about everything everything folks so i just feel like i have to update you on so you know if we're if major life events happen for me i gotta update you uh i'm no longer seeing jess me and jess are no longer together kind of crazy you knew this um yeah you just told me recently yeah um so that is something that you're probably not going to hear me talk much about uh i you know don't want to talk about it you don't have to ask me about it i would actually hope you don't ask me about it so you don't want me to break it down right now well, we can if you have no, any questions. I'm just kidding. No, you, I'm just kidding. I'm if you just have kidding. questions, please. Like, no, I, I mean, no, I'm in no, fucking no, people no. listening. No. But what you, if you have any questions about it, go ahead. <clears throat> no, I, I, I just feel bad. It sucks. Anything, for her or for me? Just uh, you. Not more, for her. 
No, I'm of course kidding. not. No, I'm no, I'm no. no I'm anybody involved. I mean, we can make jokes. Well, it's okay. <laughs> Come on. And just whenever, whenever there's a seven year relationship, just like getting out of that or just it always sucks. Yeah. It's never fucking. It's just stress, you know. What's your longest relationship? Five years, I think. Yeah, those suck. Yeah. It's just yeah. shitty, dude. They suck. Never yeah. good. No, Never good getting out of those. Not fun. Um, the whole like, I mean, you people listen to the show, both this show and KMS. You've heard me. If you've heard me appear on there the last three months, it has not been smooth. And <laughs> I think people, some people think that like I'm playing it up as like a joke, and there so, is some joking aspects to it, but like there's also it's a lot more serious than I even am, you know, leading on. So, so I would say the number one thing when people came up to me at the live show, yeah, that was the number one thing asked. Yeah, I got asked. Is, ask is the stuff between like him and Jess like yeah. real? Yeah. I'm like, yes, yes, yeah, you guys, I, yeah. I promise it's, it's real. Not, yeah. <laughs> no, um. Yeah, I know. I had a ton of minute fans being like, "You got to get the ring. You got to get the ring." Like, <sighs> yeah. yeah, I don't know, man. We got to we got to figure a lot of stuff out. But Not we, anymore. <laughs> we were supposed to go to uh, we were supposed to go see a show in New York. Um, we were gonna go see Wicked, and that this whole weekend just yeah, it was it basically I came home from Portland. You want to recap Portland? No one's done that yet. I thought we. I'm did. joking. I'm joking. Oh, so I was like, like, what literally, that's all people have been doing. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? I was no, like, here's I'm your doing. sign. Yeah. Um. <laughs> But no, when I got back from Portland, that whole week has just been, you know, pretty much a disaster leading into this past weekend. And yeah, so we haven't been seeing each other. That's all over and done with. And uh, yeah, I think that's probably the last you'll hear me talk about it, unless you have questions. No, no, no. no I, you know, I, that shit sucks. That's yeah. really all I got to say about that. Yeah. yeah. Did you get me a gift? Anything? Ice cream? No, nothing. absolutely not. We got Oreo. No, we ate all of them. Yeah, you actually, my mom yeah. came over, not because of this. I, they I, don't know. Actually, that's going to suck. I have to tell my parents and shit. That's going to be terrible. You don't think she listens? My mom, <laughs> I should get her on here. I think she'd be actually pretty fun. I think people would like her. I don't think she would want to do it, but I think she, people would like her. Yeah, she's got her. She's she's a person. That's great. Yeah, no, she is. She's a nice person. Yeah. She's, I don't have any of it. Like she's probably the. There's way too much good coming from that side. Then there's me, Alec, and my dad. You don't have any of it. No, me, Alec, and my dad are just <laughs> off on her own. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's gonna suck. I didn't even think about like telling your family and crap like that. Oh, that's the worst. That's oh, yeah. oh didn't just fly down a lot. No man. I, Hey now, where's my water? By the way, over here flashing the camera, man. I go. I don't know where that went. Um, programming updates, real quick, too. While I have the people. Um, next third. So this next episode on Thursday won't be here. You're not going to be here. Hockey player, guys. So one of two things is going to happen. Either I am going to do a show, or th excuse me, one of three things is going to happen. This is I'm <laughs> I'm figuring this out. So Holy please, moly. what I'm trying to tell you is Thursday's up in the air. I would say 75% chance you get a show that is not live. 20% chance you get a show that is live and then whatever the rest, you don't get a show. I'm going to try to get you one. I have some other shit that I have to do that has nothing to do with podcasts, nothing to do with relationships, just some other crap we got to take care of. But if I can get you a show that day, I will get you a show that day. I promise you. I, I, I fucking promise you. KMS isn't doing anything this week. Somebody's got to do something. Like, honestly, I, the Drip's doing a show. I have no idea. Somebody's got to do something around here. Hero we need. Jesus Christ. Way to be. So just again, Thursday, we're tentative. We don't know what's going to happen, but something. A few thank yous in the chat for Matt. Thank God. Somebody Come like, on. Jesus Christ, send me shit. I give, how much free <laughs> shit have I given away? Oh, anybody need a, uh, a uh, Yeti cooler thing? I would love one. I'm just kidding. I would love a, a, a drips in the office edition, please. Did you Anyone? end up saying, did you end up deciding if you're giving away uh, the skateboard? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think I'm giving it away. People weren't, people weren't too. People Don't didn't. Did, no, they didn't. They didn't take kind to it. Yeah. Like if someone was like, "Oh, that's a good idea. That's nice of you." Yeah. No, everyone's being an asshole. Fuck off. I'm keeping it. Bet you Ted and Don were liking it. Oh, I mean, yeah, it. yeah. Speaking of which, Don the jeweler I just saw was the winner of the GVE bracket there. Oh, nice. Yep. Give it to him. Shout out Don the jeweler. We love you, Don. I gotta get a water. Hold on. No, God. Guy needs a water. Goddamn water, folks. For those that don't know, they've banned water. I think we've talked about this already, but we've they, they've banned water, or they haven't banned water. They've banned plastic water in our town. Uh, basically, ba I mean, banning plastic water is basically banning water. It's a nightmare. You got to get that tin, tin cans of water. Disgusting, filthy, terrible. Cans deserve very few things, and it's like beer and soda, like water. Opening, cracking a can and drinking water is... Justin was horrified when he saw it. Yeah, he should be. Yeah. 
It's disgusting. He was like, what is Oh, this? I saw that. That's right. Yeah, he was yeah, like, what's yeah, going yeah. on? I remember it's that. Sani water canned. No good. Yeah, I actually know. I think I said this. I know the girl who's pushing for that. Um, I used to work with her. And she's like, really nice kid, nice family, all that. But like the kid who's going to like post on Instagram. What are you talking about? I don't want to say her name. You know the person that did this? I know. I know the girl who's a part of the group that's like a big activist and getting rid of the water bottles. Oh, yeah. Well, she's listening. If you happen to get poop all over your house, <laughs> yeah, Mix didn't tell me. Yeah, no, I agree. Like he didn't tell me directly after. This. But she, she, she's posting on Instagram every Saturday about cleaning up the beach. She lets you know. She's the one. Oh yeah, she's the one, huh? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, you want to do uh, a minute fan Fuck. starting nine? Yeah, want to do that. I saw yeah. that going around. I don't know I how this. I think Danny and Bill Ricca was putting together an umpiring crew. My team's probably undefeated. Listen. Undefeated. People were this is, this is another thing, guys. People were questioning, like, your list sucked. The one you put out originally. Did you see people were like, you're sucked. in the lineup? They're like, why? How are you gonna play? Ask around, folks. <laughs> like, literally, ask the fuck around here. You don't understand how good I was in Little League. You just don't get it. I'm not saying I was some. Uh, it's one of the best 13 year old, 12 year old all stars you've ever okay, seen. Okay, so listen, that's that's <laughs> something that's <laughs> controversial. Real quick, in Little League, my final year, uh, my birthday's May 9th. So Super seen, yeah. So it's, fly, it's right on that day. So anybody after May 1st, they made you stay back a year. So I had to do both uh, the Babe Ruth field and the fucking Little League field for the seventh grade. Ready? Me, three or three or four other people, <laughs> fucking raked. I think we were the only kids that hit puberty. You know what I mean? Like I had like ball hair at the time. I'm jealous. I, oh, it was unbelievable. I was like a senior in high school. That's got, I mean, that's not true. That, that's, that's not, yeah, that's not true. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Give me a start at nine. Um, Minute fans start at nine. So everybody from mine is, uh, from, in my lineup is from the, uh, What's it called? It's from the network, except for one person. Now, I know you didn't follow that rule. I That's fine. Not. That's oh, fine. Geez. I'm a network guy. Hello. I am a network guy. Did not get the news. Give on a that. fuck about the rest of you. If you're on the network, I care about you. If you're not, I don't give a fuck about you. I have three people not on the network. Mm hmm. Okay, Ouch. go ahead. Give me your lineup. Let's go. I mean, technically, they come on the network, though. Does that count? Yeah, no, that's fine. That's 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 I don't have I a got. show on the network, but they come on the network. They come on. They come on KMS. <clears throat> that doesn't count. That counts. They come on the network. Good. Who you got? All right, leading off. Leading off. Mm -hmm. Better be the kid sitting right across from you. You were there at first, and then I changed you. You were you were my lead off. Actually, you were my lead off. And then are you ready? You ready? He's gonna love this. Shitty I, fucking I, list. I changed this just to just to make you <laughs> mad. I'm not kidding. I made this to make you mad a little bit. Okay. Number one. Left field. I'm going to give you the position as well. Yeah. Dave Cullinane. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dave, Dave Cullinane is going to lead us off, I dude. you were going to say Menners. Yeah, Dave, Dave Cullinane. Dave Cullinane. Dave's in the line? Yeah, Dave's going to lead us off. Dave's leading us off. Does anybody have faith Dave leading off a game? Nobody. Dave? Dave's Dave? Leading, yeah, yeah. The leadoff hitter is yeah, very specific. It's not like a, it's it, the leadoff hitter has a role in the lineup where you're the first guy to uh, the, the, the pitch is going to face. Everybody knows yeah. that, right? Yeah, but yeah. you're also communicating to the team. Hey, yeah. he's throwing this. Hey, he's yeah. doing this. You're the first guy at the line. First he's a good communicator. The wall. He's a good communicator. Dave? A good communicator. Oh, Solid. Fine. Solid. Left field, though? I don't know. Solid. Left field. He's All in right. left field. He's in left field. All right, go ahead. I have at second base, batting second, Michael Marks. Second base? Yeah. Be a second base. A waste of an arm. Waste of an arm? You think you got a cannon? <laughs> Dude, what is going on right now? Like, honestly, I am like, I feel like I'm the fucking crazy guy tonight. Like, what is going on? Yes, I have a cannon. Yes, 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 I do. Well, when? When did this happen? And forever. A for cannon. I played you have a cannon. I played outfield when? in All Stars. What, what, what kids play All Stars? Yeah, when you were. What when you kids? Were, shut up. Yeah. What kids play on the All Star team in the summertime? <laughs> seven, what kids? Had said, folks, at what, 17, what, he's not answering because right he knows. 12 year olds. The kids, who play, them out. the kids who play in the outfield in the All Star team. They're the ones who are really good because a lot of balls get hit there because it's the best kids each summer. You know, it's not the shitty kids. What is it, 20 feet from home plate to second base? I was gunning kids down, dude. Gunning kids down. I would play right field hoping that we would have a fast pitcher, a bunch of lefties Here's coming up coming opposite field. I'm telling you guys, you, I was good. Do you guys hear that? You hear that? He just let it out. Right field. That's you know, what it was. You know who plays right field. In we the regular. know who plays right field. It's right. Yeah, Vlad Guerrero. You ever heard of him? <laughs> yeah, right field. <laughs> Continue. Sorry. So I'm in I'm second base, batting second, second. base. All right. And then I have uh, third base. I got a uh, a guy with an actual cannon, a real athlete, and myself batting third. You're batting third. I'm batting third. What is going yeah, on? I'm batting third. Okay. I'm batting third. Okay. I'm batting third. Okay. And you're I'm, playing what base? What I'm playing? third. I'm holding it down in the hot corner. See, that's that's yeah. waste. That's waste of speed. You're fast. No, you're, probably the, you're probably the fastest minifan. 
At least I'm up there. Up, I would, I'm up there's there. no more than five. People. I wanted to lead off. I was thinking about leading off. I, I almost put myself at lead off, but I was like, you know, well, I'd rather, I'd rather let a couple of guys get on. I'm going to, I'm going to pop a few out there. Okay. Like Dustin Pedroia. Okay. You batting, I mean? let a, let a, let a guy batting third. On. You are bat playing third base as well. Who's, yeah. who's hitting cleanup? The one and only. Who? Kirk Minahan. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're, so you're allowing yeah. KMS. Shortstop as well. Kirk, okay, hey, wow. He didn't make my list. Team. He did not make my wow, list. Wow, no way. <laughs> no, he's not. I don't know. Oh, yeah, no. yeah leading, leading the team. No. Kirk Minahan. I don't know if he's, I, listen, if we're playing basketball, for golfing. You don't think he's, really? You don't think, I mean, he, he grew up in the era of baseball. Yeah, he grew up in the era of it. I think he was probably like at the we golf, were at the I think end. he was. I think he was probably at the golf course. We were probably the, we were probably the last era of baseball. I think growing up, I think that he was getting taken to the golf course. I was going to the batting cage. <laughs> there's a difference. <laughs> like there's. I'm not saying either of us are elite baseball players or golfers. I was. Who do you, who do you think right now at right? their peak as a baseball player versus a golfer? I was a better baseball player than Kirk Minahan was a golfer at any point in his life. Right now, against a good high school pitcher. Yeah, you were Kirk on the plate. Are you joking? I mean, I'm, I'm 25 years younger than him. Whatever it is. You're sick. <laughs> you guys don't understand. I, I like literally like I, I, I have quick hips at the plate. Like I would turn on just about any ball. I really would. I could turn on just about any ball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm All not right. hitting junk. I can't hit like so where, where do you think you should be playing? I'm just curious. Where, where I'll give you my lineup after. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Right. Who's hitting fifth? Speed this up a little bit. Let's not, go. Non minute fan. Non minute fan. A non minute fan? Non minute fan. Batting fifth. He's not a minute fan. My pitching. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean minute fan. I'm so sorry. Non non network. Okay. Non network guy. Apologize. Okay. My pitcher. Yeah. The rocket himself. Oh. Jared Kravis. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. I got the rocket on that's the mound. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Going with the rocket. I mean, does he listen to the show? Who knows? It's debatable. <laughs> it's very it's debatable. debatable. All right. All Number right. six. He's going to take offense to that, but he's not going to listen to this. But it, he's going to take offense. He, he shouldn't be that low in the lineup. The rocket should be hitting fourth. It's batting fifth. It's, he's a rocket. He's he's also the he's okay. starting I'm just pitcher. Telling, I'm just telling you. Go he's ahead. He's a starting I'm just pitcher. Telling you. I'm batting just, fifth. Okay. He's like Otani okay. out there. Okay. I got go I got Otani on my team. Number six. The big fella himself holding down first base. My guy. The weight loss champion himself. Justin. Uh, yeah. Well, he hasn't won anything yet. Well, we're going Mr. Drell there. So Justin's playing first. Yeah, he's holding it down to my first base. I'll tell you what, my yeah. team's bunting. Yeah. We're we're <laughs> throwing a bunts down all, right. all day, all, right. all right. game That's long. All right. all right, fine. Oh my god, I fucked up my thing because I put a pitcher in my lineup. So I have it's fine. Whatever. All right. <clears throat> we got uh right uh sorry, number seven, batting seventh. The DH himself, Mr. Michael Montante. Montante's DH, no? Yeah, he's okay. Gonna, he's an old that's fair. BRDH. I think that's fine. Yeah, we kept him off the field. All right. Yeah. Um, number eight. I had him as second in the batting order, mm -hmm. but we went with the uh, the psycho himself, Mr. Gus. Gus is yeah, playing on the, the team. The bus is playing right field for me. Wow. Yeah. I need a, I need a psycho on my team. I need a psycho. See that? Uh, I don't know. Gus. Gus. Gus is going to be picking dandelions. He might. Yeah, I don't know if he. Uh, I don't it's know if guy. he's. Uh, yeah, he is a blue guy. Chicken and beer. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. he. He's. Blue guy. I don't know if he's making my starting nine, but he's on the team. Yeah, he's on the team. That's fine. He's a glue guy. I can. I'm with that. Yeah, yeah. He's a glue guy. Okay. And then I have ninth, my center fielder, a baseball guy to his core, a possible network guy at some point coming up. Mm. Mutt. Wow. Yes. I'm going with Mutt as my center Mutt fielder. Mutt at center field. Yeah, he's going to hold it down. He's five foot also, one. Also, it's fine. It's fine. You can be fine. Who's going to go get these? I can't go up and get the ball. Of course, you can climb a wall. Looks like a monkey. But that's why. Look at him. Like, 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 yeah, but that's true. I didn't even think of that. He is yeah. kind of a little monkey. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna be you're good. right. No, you're right. He'd be he, great center he'd be fielder. fine. Yeah, you're right. Also, also, people are like, oh, wow, ninth, huh? You're going ninth. Listen, I was told I was a 12 year old all star. And as they told me when they said, you're batting ninth, hey, listen, come here, kid. Come here. Get over here. Ninth. That's actually like second lead off. Yes. Speed that's at the bottom of the order. That's what they, they tell you. Speed they at the bottom of the order. When you stink, right. when you stink, that's where they put you. They do. That's yeah. it. No, it's the hundred, you're 100% right. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> much my, uh, my ninth, my ninth right. spot there. Um, any pitching? Anything? Any other? Well, pitchers? I had, I put Carabas as my pitcher, but I guess I probably should have been a catcher and then gone with a starting pitcher closer. But no, that's I didn't fine. do any. That's fine. All right. I'll, I'll run through mine real quick so we can, we can move on. Okay. Hit and lead off is the guy sitting across from me. You. <sighs> Let's go. Speed. Yeah. I, by the way, I is a balanced lineup. This is going to be speed at the top of the order. You're going to have meat in the middle. You're going to have speed and a little bit of power at the bottom, too. Okay. This is how you do it. This is how you win baseball games. Chris, cousin Christian leading off center field. 
And I wasn't joking when I said you probably are the fastest minifan. Are you I, right up there? I, I I challenge anyone. Yeah, I put. I'm willing to do a challenge. No one's smoking you in like yeah. in like a fifty yard. You're not going no, further. I agree. Although I'm not gonna lie, man. Hundred yards. Step. I'm losing a step. Well, yeah, you're old. Yeah, I'm losing a step. I can feel it. Yeah. Uh, hundred yards, or is that too much? Nah, they might get me. It's like so a basketball me, court, hundred feet. Give me a fifty yard dash. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's fair. What's the what's the what's the one they do for the football? Forty yard dash. Right? 40, yeah. So yeah I'm, smoking, I'm smoking. Pretty what do you think you what do you think you would run? I really, really, I don't know. And I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm losing a little faith. Sub four six. I really think I could. I think I could get a sub four six. Cam Newton ran a four six. Yeah, I think I can beat him. All right. Yeah. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll get to him. But Al's, anyways, Al's screaming right now. Oh my now. god, like, he's screaming. Losing, he's losing, screaming. He's losing right his now. mind. Um, he thinks he can beat <clears throat> Cam Newton. All right, uh, center field, cousin Christian, bat in second. John the Warren, the drip, or the faucet, excuse me. John yeah. Warren. And he, honestly, he's your perfect second baseman. Attitude That's and everything. Yeah, oh yeah, he's second base. He's, he's hitting second. He's going to be slapping singles around the field, stealing bases, stuff like that. Is that where the disrespect came when I said you're at second? You felt like the bat wasn't there? Was it the batting thing? No, as well? I told you it was the arm. It was the arm. You, you really cannot waste out. my arm. I, I, the second baseman normally doesn't have the best arm. Okay. The guys who have the cannons are, you know, yeah. either behind the plate or out in the field. Yeah. So, all right, Manny. There you go. Yep. Thank you. Um, <laughs> the, hitting third, Pat Ford. You saw the live show. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you, dude, I'm, I'm mad. I didn't put Pat Ford in my life. Pat Ford, if he gets a hold of it, it's gone. Oh yeah, gone. Yeah. What's he bat? What's he playing? Nah, first base. Nice. Yeah. Good spot. Good we spot. don't need him moving too too much. That's a good spot. Yeah, and I, I feel spot. like he could probably hum the ball around the field too. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Pat, Athlete. For Trash sure. golfer. A Hall of Famer in yeah. college, folks. Yeah. This isn't like I, I thought about this. Oh, yeah, Jesus. This is, I, mean, I can't believe I didn't do that. <clears throat> a, a Hall of Fame athlete you got yeah. on your team. That's right. I wonder if I wonder if I wonder if he's the only Hall of Famer. In the middle world. <clears throat> no, there's got to be more. You think there's another athlete? I think there is. I think, into a about. I think this was talked about. I forget who, but this was talked about. It's quite a feat. It's quite a feat. I should be in the Yarmouth Little League Hall of Fame. No, you should. We'll, we'll, we'll no, you should. no, I legitimately, no, I'm, statistically, I'm no, I actually should. I'm dead serious. I should. I, I promise you, he absolutely should not. There are the more. Hall of Fame. What world are you living in? Dude, How many home runs did you have? I won multiple, I won multiple MVPs. I won for what for a, a tournament that's different. I won tournament MVPs. I won league MVPs. <laughs> I won I won team MVPs. How many regular I, season home runs do you think you had? I mean, in like I don't, I'll get to it in a minute. All right. Oh, you go. Did you hear that? Well, when I was twelve, I mean, he's like, like when, I, when I was probably. Was I don't like, even remember. I, should, I lost count. Uh, hitting hitting fourth, batting cleanup, and this is this is a <laughs> this is this is big. This is after this weekend in Portland or two weeks ago. Yeah. This is why he's hitting here. All right. All right. What do you? I got? mean, chicks dig the long ball. Right. Who do you got? That's a known thing. Who? Do, yeah, I agree. I agree. Mick Fuss Daddy is rumored to be the one macking around with Mama K's daughter. I mean, <laughs> everything sounds PG. Listen, everything, everything sounds. She's a great girl. I understand. I'm just saying, Mick Fuss Daddy hit and clean up. No doubt about it. Absolutely <laughs> no doubt about it. He's, he's playing shortstop too. He's playing short because that's the best player. I mean, the, the best player always hits fourth, right? No, I know how. It, and not the analytics now in baseball. I'm talking growing up. No, because like the cleanup hitter, he cleans up. That's Mick Fuss Daddy. He cleans up. Like did you at the time? I mean, when we had Manny Ortiz, it was like, who's better? There was that. There was there was a legitimate argument. That's true. That's true. Yeah. All right. Uh, Three was legit. Three's a legit spot. Real quick, Montante back in batting uh, fifth, third base. Red for Maine, sixth. Wait, 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 where's where's Montante? Third base. All right. He'll be all right. All right. I got a hot faith. corner. Our defense isn't going to be great. <laughs> our, our infield. <laughs> our our corners are. I'm a little nervous about Pat Ford and Montante on the corners, I mean, you guys, but we have, we have great, we have McFuss daddy and Johnny and Warren in the middle. All right. So anything in the middle is fine, but the edges. Yeah. But that's why you got fucking nukes behind him. Yeah, you you have nukes behind him. Okay. <laughs> that's why you got this thing right here. Yeah, who do you got? Uh, I'm uh, so red for Maine, batting six. He's the DH. Okay. It's a good. I think DH. red's a pretty big guy. I think he could turn on a fastball. Nice. It's a good. DH. Yeah. Um, me, me beyond average Mick right field. Where are you batting? Seventh. Don't feel good in your bat. No, I feel great about my bat. You, you're mad at me that I didn't have you a leadoff. No, I told you this is a balanced lineup between power and speed. I would I don't consider myself a speed guy. Should, shouldn't you? I okay. don't consider. I'm not. I'm not a speed guy. All right. If I were to one of the two, it'd be power. People, people would be surprised. I would be the guy who hits like all of a sudden. You look at the sheet. You're like, oh wow, he has 26 home runs. Wow. <laughs> like, like I'm talking. You know, that's not that crazy in the How MLB. Many but bases like, you think you'd have? Not a ton. That's why. No, like, like, like 15. You just feel 15 bases. You think you'd get? Yeah, I could get 15. No fucking chance, dude. 15 bags that's a that's who's, like, who's your catcher 
I don't even have one. That's right what I'm now. Who's throwing me out, dude? Who's the fuck's <laughs> throwing me out? <laughs> no, you're probably right. No, I mean, dude, like 40 bags is unreal, right? Yeah, but 15 bags means like you're that's pretty good. Like if you're if you're a guy that hits power and you get 15 bags, I'm not a power hitter. You just had five minutes. I said I was more a power, power guy. guy. That's not what and I then said. you said I had I said I if I were to one of the other, I would be more power. But I am not a speed guy, that's why. So like I'm balanced. I'm balanced. I'm bad. <laughs> it's tough. Five tool player. You're Justin Bedoria. Uh, closer to like a so yeah. base. No. Bring had you make that's the majority of batch, probably. Yeah, that's that's fair. Get a bat, um, get a bat. Crazy MVP for being honest. Just stole one, yeah, yeah, yeah it's pretty crazy. Yeah. What did he have 20 home runs? Yeah, I don't know. He, he, he led the league in doubles and he hit average. like 330. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was and they were good. But Ziggy Robinson bat in eighth left field and last hit in ninth catching. Does host a show on the network, oh also works God. for oh, the Kirkman and show. Catching. Jack oh, Coleman, no. baseball oh, aficionado, no. Coleman the catcher. Oh, Absolutely, wow. it's the only position we can oh, that, that wow. fits. That is wrong. Listen, that is wrong. He's, he he knows the most about the game. He's knowledgeable and behind the plate. Like that's who you want, right? <laughs> it does know not, it does know a lot about the game. Right? right? I think that's yeah. fair. I do. Uh, Pitching rotation, real quick. Sheldon from North Dakota. You okay. know Sheldon? Nope. He's he's North Dakota CC Sabathia. Okay. Like he's just a workhorse. Yeah. I mean, he always talks about on the rundown how he's working, he's grinding it. Sheldon's giving you 200 innings no matter what. Yeah. You know, right around Strong like arm. it's oh, it's not even he's never, healthy. Doesn't even healthy question arm. about the DL. There's yeah. no we never, healthy arm. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. He's he's Justin Verlander like a few years ago okay. before he that's broke fair. down. Um, and then there are boy Jackson in Australia. I heard he pitched. I don't know. I don't know if that's true, but somebody said that he pitched. You, know, you don't like him, right? Or you no, like I do. I'm like, I'm oh, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We I shouldn't say that. Yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. go back and forth. I yeah. shouldn't say you didn't he's like him. He's part of the early morning Twitter crew. Because he's in Australia. Yeah, so he's there sometimes. Menor's there real early. I think Kirk's on there early. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see him floating around Twitter early. Yeah. Stuff's coming up. So what were you saying, though? You guys go back and forth. You, you, you I said his name, and you parp, you perped right up. Yeah, he, oh, he thinks Casey Rocket stinks. Who's Casey Rocket? He's a comedian. Very, very abstract, I guess, is what it would be easy to say. Okay. Yeah, he comes off like a drug addict. <laughs> I don't know. Neurotic drug addict. I've never seen him. Is he, who's he with? What, what, what uh, I, I saw him from Kill Tony. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, we yeah. had a gripe on that, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's my rotation. That's that's who I got. Solid. I think my team's kicking the shit out of yours. No. Uh, anything else from around the network? Anything else going on? Guys infield can't move. Let me think. Menners. Oh, the Menners and VD did the Gathering of the Goats show. You catch any of that? No. How was it? Um, I mean the same old stuff there. But that listen, that that show, that network, it's not looking good, guys. It's not looking, fellas. It's not looking good. You're taking a lap over there? No, I'm not doing a victory lap. You're all, you're doing a no, lap because over there. because I'm now like uh I kind of wish that they were just you know pony up and come over. Like, you know, what are we doing now? Yeah, I know you mean like what are we doing? You guys are just you sound ridiculous. I'm a BD I mean, and a mentor's guy. Listen, David and I have gone, but me and David, me and coach. We're always gonna have a bond, yeah. but he. You guys in like a JJ Reddick doc moment right now, where like all of a sudden you're like a little mad at him. No, know. because I, I, like I said, man, I don't do the neutral stuff, so like I, I can't. He knows what it is, what you do know. You mean? Like, like I, I'm, it's I cut lines. I don't. I'm not messing with those guys. I'm not. I can't. I, I don't. I don't do the neutral. I'm not Sweden. So there's no chance you'd ever go on their show. Never, unless they. <clears throat> made it right and you know would come on these shows and start being you know and stop trying to cancel people that's another thing they took so um, you'd be a reaching hand well, listen, you, you'd recently do that for they them. just did this manners just did this again manners what the fuck he tried to get um who did he try to get in trouble the other day someone said something stupid on the, one of their shows he, he likes doing this <clears throat> someone said the fa the fa you know g word yeah. that one what is it i'm not gonna say that but you know what it is um but yeah, he manners manners tweets out or he didn't tweet out the clip, but he he made sure that he, he talked about it on his show and talked about it on Twitter. And it's just like, come on, what the hell? These guys were thinking Kirk was drunk at the Mike and the Minna fans. Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> what are we doing? Um, and then I saw Justin's got a new show that Ooh. just premiered. I don't know how I don't know the future of it or how much it's sounds like know. it's gonna be not like weekly, but I would hope it is. Or, I, or yeah. I don't know if it's weekly, but it's it. what behind the third or beyond the third chair. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's an interesting name. So what he's gonna have to? I mean, if he's gonna beyond the third chair, I like it. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything else that's beyond on the network? Oh, you know, I was just wondering. I, I, I'm I wondering. A compliment. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, do you not? I would have liked permission. You, you know, if you were a Justin guy, you, permission. If you were a Justin guy, you would have taken it. Hey, compliment. do you mind if we use the name of you know? Yeah. So this is now the the Kirk Beyond Average Podcast. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> <laughs> um. What else? Anything else from the network that you saw this week? Um. No. 
the drips I think are tomorrow. Um, we'll do like I said, Thursday show for us is up in the air, but I don't know. I don't you know. Have everybody on? I don't know. I, it's all, we're all up in the air. For, my, my life's a nightmare right now. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Well, what do you got? What else? Um, hmm. We're a little on baseball there. I guess I'll keep it somewhat related. Oh, uh, great. Danny Grave, familiar at all with the name? No. Reds baseball player. Um, Burt Kreischer ended up doing an interview. Um, he was sitting next to the interviewee, and, and he was the call-in. So, like, he came up on a big screen. They were sitting on a couch like it was, like, a ridiculousness. I don't know how else sure. to explain it. Yeah, it's a panel. So, Bert, Bert Kreischer comes up on the thing, and they're interviewing him. And uh, she's like, oh, I'm sitting here with Danny Grave. Um, and he goes, Danny Grave, that's crazy. I, uh, I, I, when I was younger, we played, uh, in little league in all stars, we played against this kid in a couple towns over from me. He was an unbelievable pitcher. He was like kind of known in all, all the towns near us. And, uh, he was like, what town did you grow up in? And he says it. And he was like, wait a second. Do you know? And oh, it was the guy. And he names, he named the guy on the screen. Teammate. And he goes, <laughs> and he's like, yeah, wait, wait, that's you. The sound of it. Do you have it right there? I don't have it. I oh, wish I did. I'm sorry. Player. Yeah. I'm sorry. I should have sent it to you. And he's like, oh, do you, he goes, um, did, did you end up going and playing college or anything? And he laughed. So you went for the Reds, right? He, he goes, I'm in the Hall of Fame for the Reds. <laughs> I, <Bert. laughs> yeah, was just a, just I like a, Bert. He was like, holy shit. No way. He was like, dude, I used to tell everybody about you. He was like, I always remembered your name. Anytime I heard Danny Graver, I, I would always be I like, mean, everybody remembers the kid who was nasty. Yeah, like, like, exactly. remember? Exactly. like so you just remember that names, kid. I would know. Yeah, yeah. 100. That's fine. Yeah. That is great. Yeah, so I was just that was a weird moment. Uh, I saw that you, like we mentioned this earlier. You want to jump into the Morgan Wallen thing? Oh, what a fucking loser. You know what? All right. I'm, I'm going to say this. All right. Set the stage for the people. Um, Set the God, stage. God, come sorry. on. Come I'll let you come set on. the stage. God, God, God. Um, Morgan Wallen, obviously country singer. I don't even know. How long has he been around? I, I don't know. He's 30 he years old. I don't so I don't know. I think his last. What's the song? What's the song? Just so I do know. He's who he done is. Cover Me Up, uh, eight, 98 Braves. Give me a, you got to give me a tune. So cover me up. Oh, yeah. oh, how's it go? Hold on, I got it. Hold on, I got it. I got it, Sean. So cover me up. Oh, your oh, fuck. What's that song? No, shut up. What is it? God damn it. Come on. Cover me up. Oh, you're enough. Ah, I can't. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to um, fucking hear it, and you're just. What's the other? Nothing. What's the other Morgan Wallen one? He, he's super famous. Yes or no? He's pretty fucking famous. Yeah. Give me a comparison to somebody that the level he's in. Give me a rap comparison. Give me a rapper. Currently, uh, yeah, uh, he's, he's not like a big world. three. He wouldn't be like a big three because he's not okay. generational. He hasn't been around right. for twenty plus years. Okay. Uh, he he would, Sean is he? Yeah, whoever's whoever's little pump like who whoever's is whoever's peaking in the last three four years. That's who he is. I don't know. Anything. Little Dirk, Dirk. There you go. I'm terrible with names. Uh, I can't believe I can't name a Morgan Wallen song. What's that one song? Oh, that you prove. I need something you prove. That one. You never heard that one? No. Anyways, I'm not good with country. Anyways, I was anyways. just trying to see how big this guy was. <clears throat> he got shit faced. Yep. Apparently. And I shouldn't even say that. He got he got shit faced a few years ago and was drunk running around and he got caught saying the N-word. So doesn't have the great reputation. Mm -hmm. He's a little bit of a uh, you know, idiot, frat boy type of looks like all these videos he's yelling at people, all the cops, you know, security's involved. It, I don't know if he's like a bad, bad person, but it seems like he's got a little bit of an alcohol problem. And uh what more more recently fucking he threw i'm trying to get exactly what he did because he got charged with a couple different things he got charged with three counts of felony reckless endangerment with a deadly weapon it sounds like he was shit-faced on a six-story rooftop balcony at like a bar and started throwing shit off the balcony is that what you got out of the story that's essentially what he got okay. so you screaming the n-word that was years ago oh that was not part of this yeah, yeah that's yeah yeah people were, so i saw that people were like I was, oh he I was, was screaming the n-word on the yeah. balcony no 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 this was years ago he got caught saying the n-word in like a driveway he did sound wicked fucked up but either way just for the story's sake. Uh, what's your take on it? You and Al were going hard on Twitter because Caleb Presley. I, I, I got a tweet right here. Oh, read it, please. Yeah, yeah. I was going to read it. You go ahead. Right um, I'm going to try not to vomit. So here we can do this. <laughs> yeah. All right. This was obviously a scary situation, and Morgan obviously had way too much to drink. We're good buds, obviously. You know? Morgan. Morgan. Yeah, I, don't, exactly. I, I don't know how I feel about that already. But my understanding of him through all our interactions has been that he's down to earth guy with a good heart who has even checked in on me at times oh. in the past when I wasn't feeling like the best version of my <clears throat> of himself. Case well, closed. Well, I mean, what do we, all right, this the is case gets, is closed. This is where it gets disgusting. I'm going to try not to vomit. He checked in on him, dude. I'm going to try care. not to vomit. No, I don't care what he does. He checked in on Caleb. Who can imagine how it would feel to deal with life under the pressure 
He's on. All right, I can't even finish the tweet after that. How, Mick? I just, I got, I got to ask. I just, I really yeah. do. I got to paint this picture yeah. for you. I got to paint a picture. Please. For you. Can you imagine I'm doing this? Can I you, love it. <laughs> can you imagine what it would be like to wake up mm. and have thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of women desiring you yeah. while having an infinite amount of money in comparative to what you need to spend? Yeah. The nicest house you can have. The yeah. nicest car you could possibly do possibly have but you have to wake up with the pressure of being a famous country singer. you know who I that is imagine. though that's like, somebody like I, caleb uh, presley uh, could you imagine asking a bunch of people that have mortgages if they could not, handle that pressure he didn't ask anybody it's disgusting he it's didn't disgusting. ask anybody if they it's filthy but the the it's just a stupid thing to tweet very stupid thing to tweet and it's, he's trying to defend him as a friend and trying to look for the right words and be like hey you know, I want to condemn his actions a little bit, but like, well, he's not a bad guy, so I'm going to blame the pressure he's under. Dude, the the last thing anybody wants to hear is the pressure was the reason why some kid acted like a drunk asshole at age 30. He's not 22 years old. Like, that's the other thing. This guy's 30 years old. What the fuck? Like, I, I don't even... I don't even care about it. I don't even care. That, I don't even really care what he did, to be honest with you. I don't even think no, he's a bad guy, necessarily. That's like, crazy. I'm not even seeing that he's... No, that's as, crazy. Think about those rooftop chairs. They're fucking heavy for a reason. <laughs> that is. That's crazy. They're heavy for a reason. It, I guess it, it comes just off missed a like, cop. I guess that's yeah. why it's like... Because you, you know what would happen if this didn't hit a cop or if it didn't land near a cruiser. You're probably fine. Nothing happens. Yeah, it yeah. fucking 10 grand, blah, blah, blah. Tell yeah. the girl I'm sorry who it landed near him. Yeah. Nothing happened. But like the fact that it almost hit somebody... If, if six stories up is going to fucking fuck somebody up. Do whatever you want. Yes. Exactly. So again, this, this pressure that he's Mac, under, like get rich, do whatever yeah. he wants. No, I'm with you. I, I do whatever he wants. But Caleb is like, I, he sounds like a good, like a, a good person. Just I, his content wise, he seems oh, I like think a he's funny great. guy, right? Yeah, he's yeah, like a pretty he's funny guy. You know, lighthearted. Yeah. This he also seems like somebody that's probably well liked by coaches growing up. You that know, he's starting QB sick, though, for like North Carolina. I could see him getting a couple of passes. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, but maybe what well, you think he's relating to it. And that's why he's given the pass. I don't even think it's that. I think like, I think he's just as somebody as status at like a school like North Carolina. If you're a football player, you've probably got away with the shit before. Yeah. And that's not the same as Morgan Wallen, but it's just the comparison of compared to a regular guys. Being guys yeah, are throwing chairs. Tails, come on. <laughs> no, they, uh, I mean, seriously, how could you imagine what it would feel like to deal with life under the pressure that he is under? What's Morgan Wallen's biggest pressure? Like, what, what, what is <laughs> That's it? What I'm wondering. What is the pressure? To make a hit song. I mean, That's got to be hard. I mean, no, wow. for real. That's got to be hard. Right, no, no. There's a lot of this. people we're not doing this. We're not doing it. We're not. What? We're That's not, not hard. It. I'm not saying it's fucking. There's I'm no pressure. Saying, I'm not saying it's no pressure. Uh, I don't care. I don't care what he I'm says. Saying it's Mason no work. It's not pressure. That's pressure. The mortgage is the mortgage is paid. Everything's that's different paid. kind that's, of pressure. Yeah, that's real pressure. That's real. Pressure. We're in the real world. I'm He's talking to the real people that have real jobs, that have real payments. I'm make. with and you. When you're saying that you can't, who could imagine? It's not like he's just like, oh, that sucks. You know, there is a lot of pressure with being like that. Like that's different than just saying that. Saying right. who can imagine? What do you mean? Who can imagine? You're right. I can't imagine because that is too easy. They pressure. He did he say, "Who could imagine?" Life. Yes, who that, can imagine imagine that? that is the crazy. It's just insane. Who can I can imagine? imagine the pressure. I can imagine it's, it's, a little more. Yeah, yeah. like I, I wouldn't care. Like if he had phrased it different and just said, "Like you know, life. Everybody thinks it's life can be always easy, but you know, it is hard sometimes, even when you're rich and famous." I get it. Probably is. But yeah. who can imagine? <laughs> the pressure is just out of touch. Yeah, yeah it's just out of touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was That's how I about those those yeah. country guys. Those like you know. What's the guy? What's the what's Brianna Chicken Fries guy's name? The um, name, dude. I actually don't know. The Love and Spectrum guy, right? The one that you call Trent Self. Yes, Trent Self. <laughs> right. What's his name? I don't know. Uh, it's Cra it's Craig. It's Craig O'Connor. No, it's not Craig. Yeah, they're all the same. It's the same guy. They're all the same person. Like if you if you if you were to Google her husband Trent Self and Craig O'Connor, it's basically Zach, Bri Zach Bryan. Zach Bryan. All the same guy. Same guy. They're not the same guy. Yeah. Trent Self, definitely, but I don't know about the other one. <laughs> Let me see, Craig. Do you Craig, have Craig? Do you have Craig's a good-looking guy? What are you talking about? They're they're all hefty white guys. Yeah, it's true. I mean, like, what you, they're hefty white guys. Like, uh, you know who Craig does look like is um the Sean O'Malley's trainer. I don't know if you know who he is. Tim Welch. What really? Oh, if you there's, I mean, Tim Welch is probably a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I know he's got a little bit of better of a frame than Craig, <laughs> but uh, just in general, like their face, it's very similar. Yeah. Um, what the fuck else do we have? I mean, what I've I've got some big news. Oh, you talking curb? Uh, you done that with? too. That's that's sad. I was gonna ask that's you what sad. what is your favorite curb moment? Just quickly, that came to the top of your head. Um, and who's Black your favorite Swan character? Great. Who's your favorite support character? Black funk. Swan, the the dead Black Swan. Yeah, that is funk. A good episode. It's gotta be Funk. Mm, 
Funk's great, man. He's so. I've been good. a big Jeff guy, like lately. Nah, Jeff is great. Yeah, so I've been Jeff's rewatching great. since Richard Lewis died. I started just rewatching. Richard Brandon Lewis is great. He was fantastic. He's fucking. When he died, I started throwing on random episodes. That might be the best supporting cast of any sitcom. So damn good. Well, they they come in different seasons though. Like they're not all in yeah. at the same time. Well, kind of. Like, Funk Funkhauser Jeff and um yeah Jeff like friends that he's but like Richard and, Lewis pops in and out. Yeah, but he's. I think he only pops in and out because he's just got but stuck like, going on with real life. Like Elaine from Seinfeld would be a supporting character. She's no, in she, every episode. No, she's not. No, main character. Elaine, she, you're, that's totally opposite. I think Je, I think that's total opposite. What? She's kind of only in it when it comes to the Seinfeld stuff, like towards the end. I'm, ta oh, I'm talking stuff. in Seinfeld. I'm talking in Seinfeld. Wait, what the hell are you talking like, about right now? I'm so confused. Elaine's character in Seinfeld, I would consider a supporting character, but yes. she's in it more than people like Funkhauser. Wait, you think she's a supporting character? You're missing she's part me. of the oh, main shut cast. Up, in Seinfeld. She's main cast in, in Seinfeld. Okay, I don't know if she is. I think Jerry. That's I think Jerry. And, uh, actually, you're right. You're right. What the hell no, are you right. talking about? But, I, but The point I was trying to get across, I thought you thought I was talking about her no. in Curb. I would say the main characters in Curb are okay. probably Jeff and, and Larry. It's probably the only two, like if, you, if you're going to go with what you're saying, if you have to be in like every episode, and through all the seasons, it's those two. I guess so, yeah. But like, I would say that the closest ones next are probably like his close friends that are always around, like Funkhauser, um, Leroy. I'm not Leroy. Um, Leon. Leon. Yeah. Leroy. <laughs> He's probably Leon's probably my favorite. Oh, uh, Leon's so good at it. Leon and Jeff would be my two. Yeah, they're up there. Funk um, really? Funk didn't make your list. <sighs> Funk is so. He's damn great. Funny. I mean, they're all fucking good. They're all so good. I go back. I I change like. You know, every every time I watch the show, I like. By the it. way, <laughs> yeah, you left your pussy in oh, the sink. God. That's pretty good funk. That is pretty good funk. Is that what's the one he tells Seinfeld? That the That's joke? the Seinfeld yeah, yeah, joke. The cunt to the yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah. By the way, you left your cunt in That's the sink. You left your cunt in the sink. <laughs> He's great. Jerry loves it. Um, what That's else? So what else you got? Uh, yeah, a big news, not curb related. Hit big me. news. So I believe, I don't know, two weeks ago, mm -hmm. I had announced, and I, I, I should do a follow up on this as well. The McDonald's was bringing Krispy Kremes to town. Yes, in Massachusetts, yes. the state is. So I actually haven't well. done much updating on that. I wish I was giving you another update on that. I went Next to, week, I, I'll give you an update on that. I can McDonald's. give you a quick update okay, on the South Yarmouth one. Really? They don't have them yet. I asked. Okay, I know that. But okay, I, I, I figured I they weren't going to be there yet. I figured I it was going to be like a year or so before they even showed up. Mm -hmm. I was curious to make sure that if we were going to have quick a time. Quick thing I'll on donuts, quick thing. What? Sweet Tomatoes, my favorite pizza place right up the road. You know it. Yeah. They do yeah. homemade donuts now. People, yeah. No, but they do homemade donuts. Oh, they're so good. What, like what kind? I'm like donuts, donuts, gourmet, Glaze powdered. Yes, everything, everything. Really Homemade, right in the back. Go ahead. Sorry. Um, big announcement. So you know, near the mall where they're building that whole thing over there, <laughs> they're fucking directly across from the mall where the Kmart used to be. All that shit. You know, they're redoing that whole thing. I guess so. Okay. Well, if you didn't know, they're redoing the whole thing across from the Cape Cod Mall. There. Yeah. Yes, across from the mall where Kmart used to be. Yeah, I know. I'm familiar now. I didn't, I didn't know that they tore the whole thing down. They didn't like tear it down, but they redid like the whole thing. Okay. Anyways, what about, what about it? They're putting in a Longhorns. This is massive, monumental. That I would even say. Good. That's I've been good. begging wow. to have a fucking franchise steakhouse on the Cape. Well, we have so one. No, we don't. The fuck are you talking about? You just aren't. You're not a fan. What? Ninety nine. That's not a steakhouse. That's not a steakhouse. There's not a steakhouse. Absolutely, definitely right. does not classify. Steakhouse. So like Outback would be a steakhouse. Outback, Longhorns, Texas Roadhouse. Um, Texas Roadhouse is the best. Oh uh, yeah, it's probably yeah. Outback's the least. I would say Outback's the worst out of all of them. Even when we had it, I was like, at least yeah, we have it. It's not great. No, it's but not. the steaks aren't bad. But yeah, like the like the the rest of the foods just eh. they're not great. I mean, you're like the reason why it, Australian. It tastes, the reason right? why it tastes different is that there's so much fucking sodium and salt on a 17 different herbs and spices. The whole mm. gimmick they had. Okay, not great. But Longhorns coming to town. It's big time. And this that's massive, dude. Massive. You're not a 99 guy, huh? No, it's overrated. I used to. I you know I had a streak. I got it like 28 days and 45 days. 28 days and 40 oh, times? I had, sorry, I hit it 28 times in 45 days. Really? Yeah. What'd you get? Um, Same thing every time. Sirloin, double, double uh, potato. What'd you guys go for work for lunch? No. Oh, you just ordered it? I was on a streak. That's yeah. great. Yeah. I, uh, I, they, they do a great Vermont cheddar burger. Great for lunch. You know? It's all right. I don't know why. Like, everything there is just so fucking mid. Listen, I see Ziggy Robinson saying the 99 is my favorite steakhouse here in the chat. What are you? What listen, is, no, he's he's trolling me. Okay. There's no way he means okay. that. Um, right. Right. Listen, right now, <laughs> I know God. it's not a fucking Thank steakhouse. God. I'm just Thank saying they, they this guy compared to like the other shit we had around here. That the 99? That's that, for that's, like that's a that's local like, spot. The 99 is like Applebee's. Outback? That's like Applebee's or Chili's right. or right. fucking right. Right. any of those. Like, it's not I stand corrected. Franchise steakhouse. You think of the the major three. I know the fucking 99 are a steakhouse. Assholes. Which one allows the peanuts everywhere? That's, that's Roadhouse, I think. I don't know. Five guys. What are you 
fucking what is this guy talking about? I don't know. What is this guy talking about? I have no idea. Um, give me your master's picks. Oh, give me some masters. All right, all right. And then give me a quick dinner because Justin Justin gave me his dinner. You all give right. me your dinner too. All right, all right. Masters pick. Give me two winners and then two long shots to win. Two actual winners, all two right. long shots. I'm going to, I'm going, speed this up. I'm speed going, around. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Double live with Ram and Brooks for the winner. One of the two. Ugh. Yeah, double live. I think uh, one of the two is going to win. Bro, I think Ram could very well go back, back to back. To back yeah, you very well could. Plus, the Brooks. chair there. Sorry. Go ahead. I do. Is that what I'm hearing? Go ahead. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Um, Brooks plays it well too. He, I think he's got what one? Did he, did he have a Masters jacket yet? Because I mean, he's got two second places for sure. I don't think he has a Masters. Or, no, he does. He won the year. Did he? Hear, did he? No, that was uh, DJ who won the COVID year. What am I saying? Yeah, I think. If, I don't know if he. I don't know if he does or not. Uh, either way. So yeah, right, those are my two. Yeah. Um. And then who, long shots. Yeah. Uh, long shot. Like yeah. You know, I feel like it's not a. <laughs> people are gonna hate it. People are gonna hate it. If you say like live again. Going Cam Jesus Smith. Christ. Going Cam Smith. Cam Smith's a long shot I mean, in any tournament. I mean, it, it, he's one of the fucking 10 best players in the world. He should be, but he's not because he's, he's not playing well. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I mean, Jordan Speed. I, I feel like, like this, who else are you going to give me? I, well, I feel like this really is the longest shot ever, yeah. but we'll go with Rory. It's probably the longest. It's the longest shot you can come up with. He's got like one with. of the no, three best the longest, odds. It's the longest shot you can come up with easily. Okay. Okay. Easily okay. the least. Like Tiger Woods is a better chance, right? You'd admit? No. You really think t- that Rory has a better chance? Tiger would be the long, longest of shots this year. Rory's the longest shot possible to me. No, he's not. Yes, he is. He's, Admit it. He's not. He's a choke artist. Yeah, but like, he, he you, you hear he's Masters. In it every year, though. You he's hear in it, Masters, he's in it every year. and you think of babies gone blue. Like, you think of choking things. You think of, you think of things that can't breathe anymore. Yeah. What does that squeak do? You don't hear that? <clears throat> um, I think it's you, brother. Cause I'm moving all over right I think now. it was I think it was you were pinned up against that thing when you just moved it's gone but um I would go <sighs> I don't know I'm looking at the list right now hold on what is what, what, like what, what is this fucking thing like why you know what I hate you know web- what picks for your masters no I, I do I, just, I, I don't have them on top of my head I just kind of want to look at the list one more time like Scheffler's I feel like the obvious he's PGA. the favorite obviously yeah. him Rom yeah I wanted to see where Rory ranked what the fuck is that I just heard it's you dude you keep squeaking there you go. All right. Um, I'm going to go. Dude, honestly, I said this to you. I could see Rory actually winning. This guy, look at this fucking puke. So I'm going to pick him just out of spite. Fucking shit. I'm going to go Rory as a favorite. And I guess you, Spieth's not technically a favorite, but I'm taking Spieth. I always take Spieth at Augusta. He's, I do it every year. I do it. I do it. You know that. I'm a Spieth guy. Good pick. Well, it was good pick. Yeah, Rory, yeah. Rory and Spieth. I just didn't see those coming. That's correct. That's you have the two but, uh, favorites. No, I don't. You have just, I'm looking at it. Or excuse me. You have, you have who? You have Rom and Kepka. Which one's the favorite? Rom? No, it's, it's, it's Scheffler, Rory, Rom, Kepka. So you have one of the favorites and I know. You, you, have, you have more of the favorites than I do. You have three of the four. No. I, I, you get rid of Rory. Rory's a long shot. No, he's Rory's a long odds, shot. Dude. That doesn't count, dude. Rory, though, that's Rory wrong. retarded. That's wrong, and everybody, everybody would retarded. agree with me in the chat that watches golf. That Rory is an absolute fucking long shot at the Masters. No, so he's I, gonna win eventually. So it's come on, long shot. Um, I'll be so upset if he wins. I really will. There'll, there'll be a few things that would make me more upset. That's the only thing that would make me upset at the Masters if he won. That's it. Only thing. I'm gonna go long shot. Max Hama. Could this be it? This is the final year. If he doesn't win a major this year, this is it. That's not true. I'm saying I'm no, crowning. Not true. No, no, I've already done it with Ricky. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good with this stuff. I really yeah. am. I'm pretty now Ricky's good. had a turnaround. The only one Ricky's I was back. off on. The only one I've been off. Ricky's on a good long shot. Is Sergio? That was the one I said he was. He's never going to win, but he ended up getting one. But I've been pretty good with these. Lee Westwood. Do you, me- do you remember? Never, do you remember when we were watching the Masters and he went in the water like yes. five or six yes. times in a row, thought, seven, whatever it was? No. Yeah. Sergio. Yes. To win? No. He won? Oh, I think no, no, no. the year he won. I was like, what no. are you talking about? No, 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 no. I got you. No. Do you remember that year that he went in on 12? Like, I don't even know how many times in a row. Maybe I wasn't watching with you. Yeah, I don't think I was watching. You don't remember that highlight, though? No. You don't remember that? That's like one of the crazier clips in golf that I just always remember. No. no went in like believe. fucking eight times in a row. Yeah, I would go um, final final long shot. Is Tagala a long shot? Is he in it this year? That The young kid? that He's like Indian? Um, I don't he's know. He's been balling. Like, yeah. He's been playing really well. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I guess I'll go. Yeah. Is Phil in it? Yeah. Of course. Oh, Phil. Phil's Phil's second last yeah, year. Yeah. Phil. Is he considered a long shot? He's not like a 
Probably favorite. There you go. There's my, yeah. there's my picks. There's my picks there. I don't That's even remember right. who I had. Anyways, give me your real quick your All dinner. Right. We are going this is with the more important thing. We're going with a porterhouse. Yes. For the steak. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. A porterhouse. We're going with ribeye. I switched it up. We're going with ribeye. Okay. We're going with ribeye. Okay. Ribeye for the meal. We're going mac and cheese for the side. We're going asparagus. No mashed potatoes. Wow. I, I know. I switched it up. I think I told you last time I was wow. going to go mashed potatoes, but I'm going to go with that some mac like and you, cheese. That is stunning. Yeah. Go mac wow. and cheese, ribeye, asparagus. <laughs> um, raspberry cheesecake for dessert. We'll go backwards to the apps, and we're going to go with mozzarella sticks, crab cakes, and mussels. And we're going to have some, like, average Joe-style bread in Caesar salad. Average Start. Joe's bread? No. Something like that. You got to yeah. get some, like, Italian stuff in there. Give me something good. Uh, Olive Garden, then. <laughs> get the breadsticks? Yeah, it's Italian. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It's the bread. Um, I, you know, last time I said chicken Alfredo, some sort of nice chicken Alfredo. I think you would agree with me. Too much creamy chicken Alfredo sucks. I don't like But it, it can't be soupy. My problem is it makes the chicken look gross or something. Makes you got to have a look, you gotta have It good. almost looks like unseasoned chicken then. Like the, do you know what I mean by that? Uh, just because like the texture of it? Like have you ever cooked unseasoned chicken like for the dogs before? It just looks like this white fucking nasty. Piece on the of meat. grill though, not on the stove. Well, on the grill is good, but if you ever cook, if you ever cook, if you ever cooked it on the stove, or yeah, I know what you mean. It, it just looks saying. terrible. All right, and that's what it looks like every time I get chicken alfredo. Yeah, that's what I think. Of. I would much prefer shrimp alfredo so because of that. I would change Same mine. The texture, too, right? I like the texture of shrimp, better with that. I would change mine to. I, I think I would do like a chicken parm instead like i would I, like a better chicken parm and you're disappointing i know I, i'm trying to yeah. i'm trying no i really am like I, I i'm trying to think like what would be the italian I feel like, dish I, feel like, I said chicken I feel like um, you just choked when somebody asked you what your dinner would be like i, said, ah, chicken I do parm. every time i chicken do it every time. Parm? I, know, I do it every time chicken cabanera would be the but that's only because what are we doing here that's only because what are we doing i'm trying to appease if i'm trying to appease other people don't I, like don't appease a single fucking person you just won the masters you're you're the me masters mm -hmm. Love no, it. I know. Me, me, and Justin, me and Justin were talking about this. I, I said, if no matter what, I'm having a pulled pork sandwich. It doesn't really matter. Hey. Like I just pulled pork, mashed potatoes, and you know, if you want to do mac and cheese, coleslaw on the side, I don't give a shit. Just give me the pulled pork. You're going with southern kind of yeah, some sort of barbecue. -ish. Yeah, some sort of barbecue. I like that. Yeah. Fine with that. Corn of the cob. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Corn, corn of the, of the cob's so underrated. Good. Yes, hits every time. Because I like corn like on the no, I don't. regular corn out of the can. I don't. But corn of the cobs. <laughs> but you said you like both or no? Like I can eat it on Thanksgiving holidays. I'll have it. But no. like if somebody doesn't have to be any specific occasion, if somebody's whipping up corn in their house and they offer me a cob, I'm in. Cob I'll always yeah, eat. I'll just even yeah. if I'm hungry or not. With you. Let's go. Part of that boy up some salt. Ooh, yes. Yeah. Do you wee. do pepper on it? Some people do pepper. Every once in a while. I'll go with that. Mm. No? Never? No, because I don't I don't really like that much salt either on it. I kind of just like the corn. I'm a corn guy. You're fucking disgusting. No, a little butter. I mean, I have butter on it. I have okay. A little bit of salt and it's okay, but sometimes when you bite it and you just taste the salt. You're crunch. a weird food guy though. That's a Crohn's joke. Okay. No, 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 it's not. You're a weird food guy. It's an IBS joke. He doesn't, he, no syrup on waffles. Just so we're aware. Syrup's pretty controversial, I think, for the most part. Like, nope. I don't think most people, not with syrup I think, and waffles, it's not, it certainly isn't. Yeah, but I think a lot of people would do like, a honey. lot of people would use would syrup on their waffles and pancakes. But they don't smother it. I agree. I don't smother mine. I think too much of it. I'm think, like, I think, disgusted I, by it. I think if you put condiments on the food itself, I think you're pretty much a psycho for most part. Like if you're dumping ketchup on your fries, Disgusting. if you're doing all that Great. stuff, you're, you're pretty gross. Uh, I guess like on a burger is different. Delicious meat, barbecue sauce. Yeah, mayonnaise. you can do that. But like I'm talking like on a side, you shouldn't just throw mustard, ketchup, relish, mayo on anything. Or a hot like, dog. What are you doing a hot dog? I've done like I've done a strip. I've done like a strip of ketchup before. It's disgusting. Yeah, but like I, I, I would rather just like to uh, me. I, I'll be asking me what I want to do a hot dog. Let me tell you about my hot dog. Okay. I would rather like some. Uh, Onions and peppers with it. I'm not lying. I kind of judge people on how they eat a hot dog. If you are a guy that just puts ketchup on your hot dog. What, like smothers it or just ketchup in general? Just, just ketchup. If you're just a ketchup guy on a dog. Well, some people only have that option. I'll put it to you this way. You probably don't know how to swing a hammer. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Like yeah. You're probably not a I mean, if you're doing a hot dog over a sausage in general, you're pretty, you're pretty much of it. I fairy. guess so. A little fairy. Yeah, a little bit, right? Yeah. Like, definitely the manlier thing sausage. is to get the get bigger dicks. Get right? a sausage. You get right. that thing, fucking peppers, onions loaded up. Let's go. Yeah, I hate Cholesterol. that. Cholesterol. I, mean, I, I, I wish I could be a man and say that I enjoy that. I don't. You don't? Know? Oh, every, when I, when I had those Patriot season tickets. My dad loves that shit. 
walking into the stadium every single week, I would get a sausage. Yeah. Just rep the thing down. My dad's like a real man, though. Like, oh, for like, sure. like black coffee. Like, <laughs> I hear something else. It's yeah. the way you just said that. Was very... <laughs> yeah, like black coffee, loves sausage. Uh, yeah. Just eats terrible food. Like nuts. I don't think your dad eats terrible food. No, he eats like nuts. He'll eat like just egg whites. Like he eats like like a man, like a grown man. Like he eats yeah. like a real grown man. Yeah. Like I don't. He's a man. He's yeah. a man's man. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. He is a man's man. Yeah. Makes me feel bad sometimes. Oh, me too. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. No. We, <laughs> you kidding me? Yeah. Um. What do we got? Yeah. Did you catch the NCAA's last night? You were asleep pretty early. No, what a nine twenty tip an off. Absolute fucking joke. Nine twenty tip off. I got no water. Why? Left. Why is what I want to know. That's the latest in sports. But on another related note, oh. um, you didn't watch any of it though. No, not a single minute. Oh, wow. I Third, fell asleep. Two straight I, tournaments. I fell asleep. Two straight tournaments from UConn, where they won every game by more than thirteen. That's fucking crazy. Every single game. Every wow. single game. And dated two straight last years. Huh? Yeah. Wow. It's not even watchable. I watched uh, so the first half was great back and forth. They're running yeah. around, it was fucking close. I think it was a four point game at halftime. Was Purdue, that big kid, yeah, Zach Eady. He sucks, yeah. he's not gonna be a good pro. Yeah, slow, yeah, he's slow and uncoordinated. He doesn't, I don't think he's gonna be a good pro. No, and then I literally I took a shower at halftime, get ready, get ready, get ready to bed, whatever. Look up, they're down like 15, just blink of an eye. I don't really? know, I don't even know one player on UConn either. Like, do they have a do they have a number one pick? Do they have who is gonna be the number one pick? I have no year? idea. I don't know any of these kids. I'm like, how are they this good? Who was on the team last year? I don't know any of that. Like, how is UConn rolling teams like this? It doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. Um, the Caitlin Clark thing was crazy too. The most uh, watched game. Know, yeah. You know what? You got to take on her. Um, yeah. We, 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 she want, would kick the shit out of you. One, by the way, yeah, yeah. She would. Right? One, th then they need to relax a little bit. The girls need to oh, say it out a little oh, bit. Oh boy. Don't tell the girls. That. First of all, why you first, why you on at the girls? First of all, everybody wants to sit here and say, thank you, Caitlin Clark for yeah. lifting women's basketball. I'm listening. I want to say thank you once again, once again, to all the men out there. Because who watched that game? I can guarantee. Wow. I can guarantee you. I can guarantee you. This is a take. I can guarantee take. you. If you could go look at the numbers, it was 90% men watching that game. That's a, do you know that for a fact? No, I just said I can guarantee it, which means I have no idea. <laughs> yes, I can guarantee yeah. it. Um, I don't know, 90%, but I bet more men watch it than women. Yeah, 90 is probably crazy. but Yeah, but I would imagine it was probably much more watched than women than a typical game, right? Sure. But my whole point is, if everybody's like, oh, this is great, like people are actually interested in women's basketball for the first time, had women just actually be interested in women's basketball instead of like the Kardashians or Taylor Swift, they would get paid. Oh, equally. that's a stereotype. Yeah. Oh, they're going to lock not. you up for that one. Well, I thought girls like sports. They don't. Hunting. They don't. <laughs> I know. They're like I'm no aware. sports. I'm aware. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I was, yeah, I, so I, thank you. I mean, Caitlin Clark, good job, but thank you to the men that lifted women's basketball you know, over it, the weekend. You can have fun with it and that's fine. Like, I <laughs> no, like you actually can't, like you can fuck around, joke about it. The people are actually getting fired up about this shit. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, dude, I act like I might sound like a weirdo here, but like, it was kind of fun to watch. I like kind of fun to watch. Like, I was, was much great. more into the women's tournament, the games yeah, that I watched than I did the men's. I probably only watched like four or five of them total. Like I watched the South Carolina, Iowa game, the Angel Reese game. Like, was it crazy entertaining? No, but it was. I don't know. The, the other Angel games were fun. The UConn game was a blow. Every game I watched the tournament was a fucking blow for the men. So I'm like, I don't, I don't know. It's fun to enjoy something. There's nothing else on. The people will get fired up about it. They're like, well, Caitlin Clark's bad for basketball. Or just shut the fuck up. Like, what are we doing? Who said she's bad? For basketball? Not bad, but like, uh, or, or it wouldn't be this way if she was some white kid. You haven't seen that? I saw that all over the place. The reason why she gets Caitlin Clark's white. I know. Oh, if she. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha, There's gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. the reason why is because she's some. You know, weird looking white girl from Iowa. She was just a typical. Oh, I don't know what to tell you. Be white. I agree. Yeah, stop, I being, agree. Like, yeah. stop being whatever You're white. Color you Smile. are. Smile. Come yeah, on. Be white. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm over. I'm, I'm so over the uh, the March Madness now. That's two years in a row. It's just a shit tournament. So I guess my biggest problem is that I just never have any idea what's going on. What do you mean? Like, I don't follow. Like, I don't, like, you know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. I but know. that's no one does. You just turn it on during the fucking tournament. Right? I guess so. And now I guess the, this is the first year that I did feel like not a lot of people knew about anybody. Well, there's no like, like, big name. Like, like usually there's like, oh, you know, there's five big names, and you know, that all the schools right. that they're at. So like they just draw attention to those schools. But. And it doesn't even have to be the number one pick like playing. In, like, it's usually like there's, yeah. oh, he's going to be a lottery pick. He's yeah. going to be this. He's going to be that. Like Zach, e is Zach Eady a top 10 pick? I have yeah, no. You, oh, that's the per, per yeah, the kid. Duke. I have no idea. Not, not a clue. Um, let me see. What else? Before we jump out of here. Go ahead. You see the stabbing at Apple Creek? You got a take on that? No, what's that? Let me get a you water. You have seen so that? Go down. Tell the people what it is. 
um, for those who uh, I'm sure a bunch of people saw the clip, but basically um, I think it's Apple Creek. I hope I don't have the name wrong. Uh, it's, it's similar to like uh Sacco river. You know how you go down the tubes, same type of deal like that. This guy's going down and he appears to lose his phone in the river, drop his phone as he's going down. So he starts to backtrack kind of up the river as other river on goers are coming towards him. The group that's coming towards him is a group of, I don't know, young kids that, who are appear to be intoxicated okay. and they're all rowdy and very obnoxious. Oh, I did see, I didn't see it, but I saw this happening. Yeah. So he, I, I it's, it's a weird one. He goes over, he appears to kind of like rip, not rip a kid off the tube, but basically, I mean, yeah, we're taking rip a kid off the tube. He you basically lifts the kid tube, knocks him off the tube. Yeah. And is like looking under it. Like why? I, well, my assumption is he lost his phone and like the kids aren't why? helping whatsoever. And he, they're like kind of making fun of him the whole time. Okay. And they're like egging him on. And, like so the kids are being shit. assholes. Yeah, total assholes. And they're not kids, right? They're older. No, they're got to be in like teenage, like, but, but, like young are they, adults. Are they they're adults? young adults. Okay. They're adults. Yeah, they're, they, I would assume they're all young adults okay. from the, the look of them. They some uh, research going here. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, um, go ahead. But essentially they corner him i guess for lack of, lack of better terms is he's trying to find the phone and like they basically turns into an altercation uh, like one of them like throws a punch at him and then like grabs him by the neck and then they push him down and then they're all like surrounding him and they're like kind of pushing him down into the water and he takes out a knife out of his pocket and swipes at like three of them yeah i think two of the kids died 17 kid who, who he killed. was 17 yeah yeah so like Injured four others. It's tough. I don't know if you watch if you watch the video. I mean, I I hate to say it, but I think I'm on the side of the stabby. The so guy that did it. Like, if you watch the video, like I don't know. I mean, were they like jumping on the guy intentionally trying to hold him down, or were they just like, you know, purposely not trying to help him look for his phone? There's I don't know where it was going to. I agree. There were well, no, I don't know. If you watch the video, you have to decide like where what what is the line of self defense and like when you should like draw a weapon to like take it that seriously i agree that's that's probably what it's usually over, right? most people would say life threatening right it's the easiest way if your life's being threatened you know you should do everything you can to keep your life so i think like, it's in that situation, i, think, if you I don't know if video, that's true though what do you mean i don't know if that's true in what sense i'm with you like if my life was threatened i feel like i would it would be okay to take out a weapon and I don't defend myself not i know i'm just saying for the sake of the argument yeah i but i also think by like court of law, I think at times it would be like, did you do everything in your power to avoid using the weapon? Isn't that like kind of how it goes? Like yeah. you, you like in the last way. case scenario, yeah. you're supposed to use the weapon. Yeah. I think that's kind of well, kind of in some like, where you are. Depends what I'm saying. Like, so like it'd be a different where you are and shit. Like in Texas, I'm pretty sure you just have to like look oh, at a guy yeah. wrong. Yeah, just step on my property. I can, <sighs> I can see up, ya, right? buddy. <laughs> um, no, but the it's pretty violent. Like I think he like gashes one guy like pretty bad. Like right at the thing. I think two kids die. Is that what is it? One or two? I saw four kids injured. One kid died. Yeah. One what kid I died just right there, but super sad. And, uh, I, the only thing you want, I, I'm gonna, I must sound like such an asshole. Saying so you think this. the kids should go to jail or do you think, no, I don't, I, I don't think anybody should go to jail. I think is what I take. So out the guy that. should just be acquitted Kinda. or whatever. Not, not found guilty. Kind of. Like it's it's a like I guess the problem is in this day of TikTok stuff and you see it all the time with these videos on the internet where these kids think they can just go up to anybody and like harass and get in these faces and think like nothing yeah. can happen. Yeah, are you worst. judging it by that? Like, are you looking at these kids? No, who are like oh, they're like all the other fucking kids. No, I, I'm saying that it's like that that type of behavior is like the there are those things in the internet kids is the result of these kids acting that way is what I'm saying. Dude, you got to be kind of a psycho to like just start stabbing people when you're, when you're like it's, it's, at I, the bottom I, I of the river. I, what I'm saying is I don't think I would have done it. Like if you watched the like, video. There's no way he couldn't have just that that was his last option is to start stabbing. I agree. And he's being like, you could have just grabbed the kid's toe and like ripped it. Like, he's no not going to get off. I have no idea. You start right. stabbing him. Like I'll yeah. just think about it. Yeah. Like I mean really think about it. like I, you would have to be panicked for me to be like all right last case I'm going to stab him knowing it's going to kill someone. Yeah. I, but it's more like you can slice him. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think you like fucking cut him straight down. And, like, That's crazy. Yeah, okay, yeah. what? You, what are we talking about? Yeah. Come on, dude. I know what you mean, but like, yeah, but like, what, what? What? What is his defense? Like, how? What is? When does he? When is he supposed to be like? All right, I guess I've taken in enough damage, and I guess I should consider myself now enough and damn like uh, my I, life in danger enough. I, I think this guy would it sounds like somebody who was looking for altercation just maybe. like maybe the other kids were too i don't know like but I, it does not sound like somebody who's trying to avoid using the knife in that situation well, they're egging him on the whole time is the problem like these you know, that's the what i'm saying they're doing this whole time they're right. doing it and then they like knock him down and then like one of them grabs his throat and then they push him to the ground and then they're like kind of holding him in the water he's on his back like in the river like trying to tread yeah that i mean again so, like, like that right there what you're describing doesn't sound the crazy situation for someone to take out a weapon and be like hey i had three kids over me yeah. one of them had my neck yeah. like, i didn't know what to do 
but when you're describing it like yeah like i started just slicing people from the bottom i think one of them was like, a girl like Jesus Christ, yeah dude, this it's guy's, pretty crazy this guy's crazy yeah it was wow. a pretty wild situation so uh the trial's still going on right now right yeah, he's, he hasn't been charged with self-defense he's getting charged with murder there's just been a lot of talk if he should yeah, he be should. charged with self-defense and what's going on. If he's charged, he probably should be charged like a manslaughter, manslaughter or something like that. Thank you. Right? But they're charging with murder, I'm pretty sure. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. A lot of people think you should just get acquitted. I'm like, ah, you know. People like, think you should be acquitted? Yeah, you shouldn't be. Is that the general consensus? What's, no, what's, I think what's it's the, I think, you know, the online chatter? I think that's the conservative consensus. I think that's a conservative Twitter. Yeah. Republican Twitter is saying that he should be free. Mm -hmm. And... I mean, you know how Democrats feel about criminals. Yeah. Well, so anybody's allowed out. I I just I, that's the weird one for me. Too bad he's not illegal. Yeah. Okay. All right. You know what I mean? Save, yeah, save it for fucking save save it for the the Christian uh, <laughs> the, the Christian Rumble show. <laughs> I, I'm I'm trying to think like what would you what would what would I have to be faced with because those kids weren't trying to kill him. Nobody nobody thinks that. No, I don't think so either. That's why it's really so, tough. Like, that's so, what like, I mean. I don't like, think those kids, are, but but I would think that somebody would have to kill me. Like somebody wants to kill me for me. To, but like, like if they're a bunch of drunk kids, they could just like fucking. They would know. They could hurt them unintentionally, right. really bad, or like whatever. Like if you said this guy had his kid pinned at the bottom with him or something, yeah. and like he was like like his kid's life was in danger, like something like I that. I definitely wouldn't have said. Like if you watch the video, man. I don't think I would. But the only thing I'm saying is like. You don't know what you don't know what his fucking health problems are either. True. Like he could have a heart problem. He this could be like a serious thing, or he's got to get like I, maybe he's been jumped before and be, beaten. The yeah, his like life. that's what I mean. Like I, I, it's tough for me to be like. I, I, I would say that in his situation, I, I definitely don't think I would have ever pulled a weapon. Like it didn't seem like a life threatening situation enough for me. But yeah. I'm also tw fucking thirty years old, a lot fitter, and you know. It, understand the way kids are i probably wouldn't have let it escalate to the situation which it got to now this guy watches too much news yeah this is what exactly happens. this like, guy watches the yeah, news too much yeah. and he but, thought know, that like his life was actually danger when it wasn't and well, it really I, was just a bunch of punk asshole kids probably yeah who deserved to get reprimanded yeah and i wish yeah. one of them just got their ass kicked and not killed yeah that's what should have happened but the problem is like that like i don't know it's weird like he should have grabbed the kid out of the tube and beat the shit out of him and like give my fucking phone don't ever put your hand on my neck yeah, like yeah, I know, instead, it's instead he goes over, he like rips the tube up, and they're like, "We yeah. got you in 4K." They like freak out, right. and he's just like looking for his phone, and they're like calling him a pedophile, I think, and shit. They're like screaming shit at him. Is there anything more to the story? Is there anything more? They claim well, yeah. they, they uh, had well, the interaction this is, with this guy before. This, this is you where, know this guy. This is where the, the uh, Republican Twitter is freaking out. The cameraman mm -hmm. claims that they saw him taking pictures of underage girls oh boy so oh, then so he's trying to scapegoat him. So, yeah he's on trial right oh, so boy. he's on the kid the cameraman's oh, on trial boy he's a the, pervert and, he's and, Tom. and he's getting cross-referenced and he's like it says here that you said that you saw uh the defendant taking pictures of girls mm -hmm. and he's like is that true you saw that and he goes no i didn't i didn't actually see it i said i saw it it was a literal quote in the in the courtroom the main the, the, which is like one of the hard statements and why they charged the murder is that they said that he was so what do they say what did the lawyers say instigator in what, the, what did well. the lawyers say? What i don't was, know it's still going on you know what i mean it's wow. going back and forth but that was like one of the big takeaways that conservative twitter had taken out of it was that big headline wow that the camera guy and like one of the big statements that they had made was that he was kind of an instigator by taking pictures of these girls and that's how this whole altercation had really started right that's wild stuff. We'll have to keep updated. I, I'm yeah. now curious. Pretty crazy. Story. Pretty crazy story. I was just, Apple uh, Creek stabbing. All right. I'm yeah, in. it was I'm fucking in. crazy to be honest. I'm I'm just because I, I, I want to know how it how it gets ruled. I'm yeah. very now I'm, I'm in. I'm in for this one. Another one for you. Hmm. I'm sure you've heard the statement. Yep. The devil works hard, but you know the rest of that statement. No, really. The no. devil works hard, but so and so works harder. You've never heard that. No, you've never heard that statement. I'm gonna say. How about, how about about Kim Kardashian's mom? You've never heard that. No, I'm mean, gonna. I keep yeah. saying no. I've never heard it, but I get it. Devil works hard. So and so works harder. It's kind of like a joke that. Yeah, other no people work harder than the devil. Yeah, the, but that. usually in like bad ways too. So that's right. why they say it about like Chris Kardashian. She's always doing bad shit. She nobody works harder. Like, I, I get, yeah, I get, I get the get, reference. Right, yeah, sure. I get it. Jesus, go ahead. Are you gonna walk me through it? So I had to walk you through my joke. Um, the devil works hard, but nobody <laughs> works. But nobody works <laughs> hard. A good one. But nobody works harder than Rich Paul. Oh Jesus yeah. Christ! Yeah, so, yeah, that uh, was crazy. Yeah, LeBron's uh, kid. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna get into the league. Rich Paul's actually you have G, he had, the, Rich Paul is putting out statements. No, of course it's Rich Paul, right? We'd all agree that these are the statements that are coming from. Well, he's he's LeBron's best friend, who's yeah. like a super agent. Yeah. So he's putting out statements that are saying that are M NBA GMs that legitimately believe that he is an NBA defender. Yeah, 
And not even just that, an though. Asset. He, has, asset he has players. The, uh, I forget who it was. One of the players was on TV today, and he was like, I've worked out with him before. I'm yeah. telling you, oh, the yeah. kid's got game. Yeah. He's got a frame. If he yeah. can get some skill. I was like, thank thank God for real people like Jeff Teague. Yeah, yeah. Thank Jeff God Teague called him right. Like he's like, that. Jeff Teague was doing like, this? Listen. He's like, we're doing this? Do I have to do this? He said it so great where he's like, anybody with the last name James – you just shouldn't be in college basketball with your dad's LeBron because yeah. nobody's going to take it serious unless you're actually really good. Yeah. Like, you know, if he was a star player, it'd be way different. But like, he's like, even if he's a fringe player, he's like, what? He said if he's at a smaller just school, play, playing out, he was like, it'd be one he thing. He said he was like, he would have been better off going playing yeah. overseas and then coming back here and trying to make it be like, oh, he's played with grown men already. Yeah. He's ready to go play two years in the league and fall out. But now yeah. everybody knows what's happening. He sucks for fucking UCLA. Or where, where does he play for? USC? Trojans. Yeah, USC. Yeah. He sucks for USC. And everyone's like, oh, well, he's going to be a good defender. No, what's going to happen? <laughs> you ever heard is LeBron, that about a guard? No, I've never heard about any college player that, like, <laughs> no draft profiles. Like, yeah, his defense is his best part. No, you got to score the basketball, like, unless you're a big. Unless you're a rim protector. Right. But, like, no, he, that, that's ridiculous. And what's going to happen is LeBron's going to go to some shitty team in free agency. He's going to make them sign him. And then the kid's life is going to be terrible. Not terrible, but, like, he, he's going to realize, like, oh, this sucks. Like, yeah. my dad's really good and, like, pushing all these strings. Everybody else around me is just like, ah. Yeah. I, I, would you want to hang out with LeBron's kid? Who was talking shit about Austin Rivers? When Austin Rivers was like, you know, I just think, you know, it sucks. Or he basically was like saying, he doesn't, was, he, uh, he was basically I, saying, if he wants to make it on his own, he shouldn't try to basically go on his team. I don't remember who. I forget who was talking, but Austin Rivers couldn't have been more right. But whoever it was was like, who, who's Austin Rivers to talk? His dad got in the NBA. Like, Austin Rivers, go look at go look at him in college in, Dob, in Duke. Yeah. Go look at his numbers. Yeah, like, exactly. he, like he was a legitimate player. He he was a starting point or starting one, one or two on Duke. Like, yeah. you know, this kid can't even make the fucking rotation for yeah. USC. Yeah, it's crazy. I think Austin Rivers averaged like 15 points in the league one year. You know, he was a player. Like 15 points he, in the he, league. He probably didn't deserve the, the big deal. Did he get it for Philly or for I don't LA? Remember. Even he got if it for he one of the two. Maybe Doc. he didn't deserve the money he got, but like to say that he didn't earn his way into the NBA is crazy. No, he's a player. Yeah, he's, yeah absolutely. He's an NBA player. Yeah. Um, all right. Anything else before we get out of here? We've been going from for a little while. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say I got into cards. Oh, yeah, I had it on my list before we go. Yeah. Tell the people. This is um, I'm sure the people are very interested about this. Yeah, so I don't know. Th- let's, let's let's basically, let's call it his brother Al is definitely the... Uh, Fuck brother Al. Brother Al oh. is the starter of this. He has been collecting cards for a while. and oh, He just pulled out then. Yeah, he just pulled a sick Wemby. Uh, it, it, and he sent it to the group chat. It just kind of got me going. Back when we were kids, we all used to collect cards. I was into them for a while. So I decided that I was going to start collecting again, and I started by trying to collect the 96 draft class is where I'm at. The entire NBA 96 draft class? Yeah. Every single player. From well, I, I don't know team. if I'm going to do round two yet. I, I haven't decided. Round, there's a round two? I mean, they, they, they people collect the round two players? I don't know. It'll mm-hmm. be tough to probably get them. Mm-hmm. I bet. I bet the round two is probably harder to get. Them oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, random players. That Most of them make the league. Are there guys that didn't even make the league? Like yeah. didn't even make the the starting. You know, just guys that get drafted that don't play. Probably. Yeah. I wonder if Kirk could name them. I doubt it. You don't think he could name? It's a big draft class. It's like you know one of the most famous ones. I, I, mm, I bet you could name the lottery. No. I bet you he could name the lottery in '96. Maybe. I I think I think he, he gives himself a little too much credit with his sports knowledge. Really, I feel yeah. like he's fucking pretty nice with it. He's good. He's good with some, but I, 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 I think at times like he thinks he's like elite. Like I, I, I find myself. You think he's like Schwab? Some Schwab. He thinks he's like Schwab. Yeah. yeah. Like I think me and you both could pretty much give him a run for money on on topics that we know. I don't think well. I could, dude. I thought so. If I we think could, I'm pretty way, good, but he's better than me. If he he sat us in a room and we agreed upon the topics that were going to be discussed. We would hold our own. And he, he thought involved. Moses Malone was better than Shaq. Like, you know, yeah, what I mean? just like, well, shit like that. Like, I don't yeah, but like, I can't. He's, yeah, but he's he's got great name recollection and he, I don't I know can't if I dumb that down right. to that. Yeah, I know that is crazy. It's, it's crazy. There's it's a crazy. lot of players that he's like, oh, this guy's the best of all time. Yeah. Okay, it's like talking yeah. to my dad. It's like, okay, dad, I, okay, I got it, dad. Yeah. Larry's the best. We got you. Bill Russell, most championship. I got it. I got it. You're saying that he's part of VD's list. What? Don't know ball. I don't know if he doesn't know ball. I think he just over exaggerates his ball knowledge. There's a difference. He does know ball. But he's also balls just one subject. He's phenomenal at golf. His golf knowledge is always oh, impresses yeah, no, no. me. He would, I, that's why I said we would have to agree upon the topics about what we we're discussing. Yeah. If we're discussing anything to do with NFL, NBA, two thousand till now, well, I will, I will hold cheating. down any type of conversation. With cheating, him. I'll probably though, make him look foolish in most of them. I guess, but like, I mean, again, this guy said that Moses Malone was better than Jack. Well, Moses Malone played before fucking two thousand. It doesn't, ma- it doesn't matter. Just, just look at just 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 look at the body of work. 
Look at Shaquille O'Neal. It's, it's O'Neal. undebatable to me. It's, it's not, not it's undebatable to anything. I, I couldn't agree more. You know, and it, Shaq's it, the, big, the, the best big man ever, the most dominant player ever, not just best big man ever, the yes. most dominant player to ever touch the court. And if you, if you want to go his 10-year run, you can say it's the most dominant 10-year run. If you want to go really specific, not, you, can go, but, you can go about five to six. Oh, it's pretty close. Mike. Mike put up six championships, six MVPs, ten yeah, scoring titles, ten first defenses. Yeah, but he took the years off. He took the years off. Even and still did it within ten. Yeah, that, I, mean, right? I meant the years off. I, I meant the consistent, the consistency. <laughs> Do you hear what I said? I know. I, I, I know. I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm aware. Ten first team defenses. I'm aware. A defensive player of the year. I know. And people want to act like there's a debate on who the goat is. Is fucking insane to me. Yeah, no, it's it's insane. He's 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 the best ever. It's not close. It's very similar to people being. Like, it would be very similar to people being like, yeah, Sidney Crosby's. He's just as good as Wayne Gretzky. Yeah. On the all time. No, it's, it's just as good. It's the LeBron. I mean, LeBron's got he, everybody loves LeBron. Yeah, Al. Al loves LeBron. He's a stan. It's disgusting. LeBron's I don't have, know how anybody could like LeBron more than Kobe. It really just makes no sense to me. I truly mean that. Well, Kobe, yeah. Kobe, yeah. You people. Might have been some, might have been, there might have been an incident in a hotel room that might make people like LeBron innocent. a little more. Innocent. Um innocent. all right. Let's get the fuck out of here. Right. Let's get good luck with your cards. We'll, we'll keep yeah. people updated. Uh we survived the solar eclipse. Um yeah. did they sacrifice a lamb in, in Jerusalem? Israel, where they do it? I don't know. I'm pretty sure they were sacrificing shit there. I'm pretty sure NASA shot some rockets up. Really? Yeah. They did that on the day of the eclipse? Yeah, there's some weird shit that went on on the day of the eclipse. That's not an accident. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, folks, yeah. take it easy. We'll talk to you uh, Thursday. We don't know what's going on. I don't know what the hell what's up in the air. Um, I don't know when KMS gets back either. Right. Barstool mini golf. Oh, do you have a pick? I do have a pick. Ryan Whitney. You're not going Kirk? Ryan Whitney. Wow. I'm going to go Kirk. Okay. Yeah. Um, you asked me to pick. Yeah. I'm going Kirk. Do I want Kirk to win? Yes. Do they have a bet on this one? Is this one where they have a bet on? Yeah. It is, right? You get the crazy odds. Yeah. What's he got? Like plus a thousand yeah, for himself? Yeah, something crazy. Yeah. He should have. What What should his odds be? Based off that field. I and mean, that field's not strong. Whitney's Whitney's in the field. He's going to be good. Big catch. should be like field. a what? A minus Wait, Whitney's in the field, right? I think. I thought. Or is he just betting? He might not be, actually. What am I saying? Yeah, was he not in the field? No, I think he, I'm pretty sure he is. I'm pretty sure he is. I don't think Biz, Biz was the one that I think wasn't. I don't know. He might not be because I'm pretty sure he was asking about. Is what, someone in the chat, if you hear. Yeah, no, because he was disappointed that Dan Rappaport wasn't in it. Remember? Because he wanted to play against him. He wanted to beat him. No, I thought because he wanted somebody good to be Kirk. You're right. I don't think Whitney's in it. I don't think right. he's in it. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. You're right. You're yeah. right. Now that I, I just thought of that. Yeah. Mm. Too late. Wait, is him. he in I you feel like he him. is, dude. It's too late and you picked him. Yeah, oh. he's in it. Don the jeweler. Thank you, Don. Oh. Um, I'm oh. going with him. Is I'm wrong. Yeah. No, I, he, I don't think he was in the last one. That's what it was. Maybe that's what it was. Or he had to leave or something. I don't remember. Whatever. I'm going to go with Whitney. I hope Kirk wins. Don't Kirk. But I, you can't win every tournament. Yes, he can. That's true. He yeah, can. My good friend. That's true. Yep. On the road, though, Chicago. He'll hit me up for advice. We'll talk. You going to give him some pointers? Of course. On the putting? You got, you're a pretty good putter. I, I'm a phenomenal putter. Okay. I am. I'm a phenomenal putter. My but mini golf putting is different than it is. It is actually way different. That's why I think yeah. I'm a better mini golf and putter know, than I'm a regular putter. Which, I, it, do you think it's more the ball or the putter? The putter is crazy, but don't they bring their own putters? Aren't there? Isn't there a controversy between this if they can or can't? I don't. Yeah, I think they're using. They're all using the same putter. I think. Or no, they have a couple different ones. They have blades, mallets, and they have a couple different options for you. Real putters, not the it's rubber. Like Tailor made. I think sponsored events. So I don't. I'm sure they're doing something. So if they're real putters. I would dominate. Oh, why don't you look that up for us? <laughs> I would. I'm just saying. If they're real putters, yeah. I dominate. If they're the fake ones, it's See, I it's think I would do better. Game. I would do it's better a with a fake game. putter on a just a traditional if no warm up, no nothing. I don't really? think I would I don't think I'd you be don't able want to a Pro V one and a friggin' your your, no, your I, want, I want I want a mini golf. I want my putter. My putter is my baby. There's nothing I like more than my putter. All right. Yeah. By the way, vitamin D today fucking mm -hmm. brought me out. Oh, the sun? Yeah. Wow. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, you guys golfed. How was that? Yeah. It's been such a terrible winter. Yeah, I didn't get to get out there. I'm kind of mad. It's the to, first day that I felt hope. I had, to, I had to go drop something off to the, to the X. That was fun. It was great. Yeah, it's been I tough. would have much rather done that than do that. You know? It was much better than that, I can promise. You think? Yeah, for sure. I bet you had more fun. I don't want to like guarantee it, but pretty sure. Pretty sure. All right. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk to everybody hopefully Thursday. If not, it'll be Tuesday, and we'll let you know. Take it easy.